these books showed me who I was. That I wasn't a drug dealer. The richest man in Babylon. This one here, yeah, showed me. I wasn't a drug dealer. Guess what the book told me I did wrong? Anybody here, can anybody here guess what the book told me I did wrong? Got caught. Got caught. Huh? Got caught. No, not getting caught. Get, I was going to get caught. You didn't invest. I invested. Oh. <laughs> I invested. The book told me that I went to a drug dealer and asked him how to make money. I went to a drug dealer and said, man, will you teach me how to make money? Guess what he did? Can anybody here tell me what he did? Huh? He gave you some dough. He gave you some dough. Oh, mm. no. That's what he did. That was my fault. That was my mistake. I went to a dope dealer and said, man, I'm trying to make some money like you, man. I want to drive a car like yours. I like the clothes you got on, man. I want to be like you when I grow up. He said, no problem. Rich in his pocket. He said, yeah, take this, go around, and see what you can do with it. That's how I became a drug dealer. Just like that. See, this book told me that I should have went to a banker. And I asked him, hey man, how to make money? Or I should have went to the old guy that used to own the gas station on the corner. He said, hey, Mr. Trotter. Because he liked me too. How to make money. Because I was a good kid. And I was hard working. And I was honest. See, a lot of people think that you sell drugs, you're dishonest. Lie, you cheat. They think all that. None of that. That you don't like people. I love people. See, I thought when I was selling drugs, I was doing them a favor. When I turned you out, it was like, oh man, I'm putting you up on game. You're going to win now. But that's because in my mind was twisted. I didn't know. While I was gone, I, I read, after I read these books, I read these like 20 times each. This one here, Don King told me to read this one. I read about him. Like you say, you read about me in the newspaper? Well, I was reading an article on Don King one day, and Don King said this was his favorite book. I said, Don King said that? Let me see what that book, let me see what that book said. So I went and got the book. And like you said about well, being in prison, let me tell you this here. I should put on a show in prison. <laughs> Let me tell you what I used to do. I used to clean cells. I used to clean cells. No, I wasn't no trustee. This was just an inmate job. See, inmates, some inmates still got money when they're in prison. They rich. They got some rich ones up in there. They never going home. They got plenty of money. They don't want to clean their cell. They don't want to make their bed up. They ain't got to clean the toilet. But see, I had went broke. The government took everything from me. I didn't have nothing. No friends. I started cleaning cells for $7. See, you got to feel, if you don't feel a certain way about yourself, nobody else will. You have to be the one to tell yourself that you are special. I can't do it. It has to come from you. Since I've been home, I thought the go game was fun. <laughs> I've been having a ball. A ball. I've been in commercials. I'm writing my, I wrote my movie script with Nick Cassavetti, one of the best writers in Hollywood. Got him scheduled to direct. I'm learning how to direct movies, how to produce them, how to cast them. I mean, just so many things that I've been able to do since I've been home. Right now I'm shooting a documentary, and I'm co-producer, and I own half of it. My movie, I own half of it. Because I learned that from the rappers, you know, they say, just to keep your masters, don't, don't let them have your masters. So when I was down, I studied Puffy and Master P, and Ice Cube, how all those dudes did it. And I do the same thing. Somebody called me the other day from uh, from Arkansas. So they got four universities that want me to come down and speak in one week. I told them twenty five hundred dollars each one. So if I do that all in one week, if I can do two a day, that's seven thousand dollars. 
<laughs> and I still feel that they give me cheap. <laughs> I still feel they give me cheap. <laughs> because I feel that I'm worth money. Because I read these books right here. See, I know how Babylon became the richest city in the whole world. I know how Henry Ford, who had a third grade education, invented the V8 motor. I know how Edison tried to make the light bulb a thousand times and failed, but he didn't quit. See, a lot of times with us, we have quit right before the finish line. And if you get nothing else out of this, don't quit. Follow your dream. If it's your dream, stick with it. Two weeks ago, that I went back to court. My PO, he, he, he can't stand me. He thinks that I shouldn't be allowed to do the things that I'm doing. He wants me to go get a job at McDonald's. He thinks that for me to be on TV is wrong since I committed a crime. So what he did is he made a report about me associating with felons. He took me back to court and had my judge order me not to be in contact with felons. Because when I was in prison, the guys that I did time with, they called me once or twice a year. Hey man, how you doing? I saw you in the magazine. Just general contact. Well, he filed to the judge to put me back. And Sergeant Campbell sent a letter and told him that, in their opinion, they think that I'm good to talk to the felons. That, that it's a benefit to the other felons, as well as myself, for us to have contact. 